Hey guys, today I'm going to be sharing my 19 weeks pregnancy update. Today I'm 19 weeks and 5 days. And I almost didn't film this video because not a lot has changed from this week to last week. Like, not too many new symptoms. Um, I did forget to tell you guys in last week's video was the first week that I really felt the baby move a lot. And it was on Father's Day in the evening. He was moving a ton. And I think it's because that day, like towards like early evening, I had a piece of carrot cake and I don't normally eat things that super sweet. So I don't know if he was just like, oh, this is new. What's going on here? But he, that whole evening was like moving around. Like you just kept feeling like these weird like flutter movements. And I was just laying on my bed and I put my hand on my belly and I was like, oh my goodness, like this is the most active. Cause I had felt him, I think it was around 14 weeks. Just one time, like early in the evening, or early morning, it was like three o'clock in the morning, I felt like a quick like flutter, but I wasn't sure if it was him or what it was because it woke me up in the middle of the night. So this past week was the first time, and then this week, 19 weeks, he's been pretty active, um, like early evening, about like 5 30, 6 o'clock. I notice if I'll like I'm on the go all day, so once I sit down, like after dinner, my husband and I will sit down and I'll feel like once I start to settle down, like just, I'm not moving, I'm not doing anything, that's when I start to notice him like moving around. And it's really cool to feel it. My husband's tried to put his hand on my belly and he can't really like feel it. But last night he did, he said, oh yeah, I, I feel something. But I don't know if he like really felt it or he was just saying it, it was kind of funny. But that's um, something new this week that's been really exciting is to feel his movement and constant movement. I haven't had like those strong kicks yet or anything like that. And then last Friday we did have our anatomy scan and that uh, went really well. I was so worried about drinking all the water, like I was so terrified because I was like, oh my gosh, how am I going to hold it for that long? But it really wasn't that bad. So if you guys have that coming up, it's really not that bad. It sounds like a lot of water to hold like an hour prior to your appointment, but I ended up drinking more water than what I needed to because that morning I worked out and I was so thirsty that I just kept drinking water. And even when we got to the doctor's office, my husband's like, you don't have to drink the rest of that water. And I was like, I'm thirsty. Like it was a hot day and I just like kept drinking water. So I had way more than what I needed, but it was good. So we had that appointment and um, it was the cutest thing. It was on a Friday and the baby kept, <laughs> it was hilarious. Like at first the um, ultrasound tech, she did, she did her own thing. Like she was doing like the pictures and whatever she needed to take for the doctor. So the screen was facing her. I was in the room by myself. She had my husband wait outside until both of us could see the monitor. So I just laid there like staring at the ceiling because she was just like, all I kept hearing was click, 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 like her taking the images. So then um, she said, I'm going to go get your husband and then, you know, I can show you guys both the screens. So we're like, okay. So he came in and she turned the screen around so we could both see. And at this point, I've been laying on my back for a while. And it, like towards the end of when she was doing her thing, my belly started to hurt. Like it was like cramping up, like it hurt. And I was just like, for a few minutes, I was like holding my fist, like just like I had my hands like kind of tucked um, like on the sides of me, but I was like squeezing my fist because it was starting to hurt so bad. And it wasn't anything she was doing. I think it was just my bladder was starting to get really full and then laying on my back, like there was this pain that was so intense that I had never felt, but it was like near my belly button and it was painful. So when she went to take my husband or went to go get him, I kind of like stood up for a little bit and like started to take some deep breaths. So I was like, gosh, this pain is intense. So she came back in and I laid down. It was there, but not as intense. But I think it was just because she had noticed on the monitor, she's like, oh, your bladder is really starting to fill up. And I was thinking, maybe that's what that pain is. Like, my bladder is getting full. I need to go to the bathroom. But it was around my belly button, so it was weird. But I guess that's where the baby's bottom has been, like, positioned, is near, like, my upper abdominal, like, my belly button area, which is kind of funny because if I'm laying flat, my belly kind of has, like, a little bump right there. And so I was like, I was wondering what that was. I didn't know if it was his head. I didn't know if it was his butt. I didn't know what it was. So she said, no, that's his rear end, and his um, head is on your left side. So when she showed us the images, it was Friday and this little baby kept flexing like his little bite. It looked like he had like a little baby bicep. It was so cute. And he just kept his arm up like flexed for the longest time. And she was like, oh my gosh, my husband and I were just laughing because we're like, oh my gosh, it's flex Friday and he's completely flexed. 
And so he stayed in that position for such a long time and then she showed us like the images of the head and like the brain and his eyes which was so creepy. I was like, oh my goodness, it's so scary. And my husband's like, that would make a great Halloween card. So of course, my ultrasound images that she prints out for me are these scary, like full on looking at me like eyes and it was just so creepy. But she gave us like two of those because my husband had like made a point to say like, those are really cool and I'm like, no, they're scary looking. Like it looked like somebody's like, hi, like with these humongous eyes at you. So we saw the baby and then um, I have my appointment, my follow up with my doctor on July 5th. So right after the 4th of July, so next week. So we'll see, because um, ultrasound tech doesn't really tell you much. She just kind of, you know, does her thing and then shows you the images of the baby and then prints out the ultrasound and then that was really it. So that appointment was pretty quick. Altogether, it was probably like 30 minutes, maybe 20, 30. It was really fast. She took me in earlier than what my appointment time was, so it went by super quick. I am still having that whole like pelvic um, pain. I started looking it up because one day it was just so intense, and I guess it's called pelvic girdle pain. And it was just like there's been days where it's just so intense, and I just try to like walk because when I sit down and get up, it's just the worst pain. And I noticed this morning, well, actually, the last few days, the worst is when I normally, like forever, I've always shaved my legs standing on one leg in the shower. So I usually like stand on one leg and I'll prop up my leg and just shave my legs. And it's fine. Like normally I'm completely stable, it's fine. So the last few days, when I put all my pressure on one leg, and then when I go to put my other leg down, it is excruciating. Like it's almost like I have to kind of take a few seconds to kind of get back up to an upright position. It's so uncomfortable and I'm like, gosh, I'm so used to shaving my legs, just standing on one leg, like bending over and I'm fine. And now it's like, what is happening to my lower extremities? Like it's killing me, my whole like pelvis, the bones, like everything. And that's really probably my biggest complaint in this pregnancy so far has been that pain. And it's so hard when you are such an active person and you haven't really had like aches and pains and joint pain. Like it's hard to have that all of a sudden because you're like, I feel so old and I feel so just unhealthy. But I know it's like normal pregnancy pains and symptoms, but just like that psychological thing, as your body changes, there's so much like psychological stuff that goes on in our minds, especially as women. It's hard, like it's so hard to see your body change and it's hard to, you know, see the weight gain, at least for me. But I think most women are the same. Um, it's, it's hard to like accept all these changes and it's like yeah there's this beautiful thing growing in you and it's it's such a great experience but at the same time it's really hard to like grasp the whole concept that my body's changing and my weight is going up and like numbers that I've I haven't seen before and you know it, it's just one of those things that I keep like mentally trying to prepare myself like this is normal this is what happens like you're gonna lose this all when the baby comes and it's gonna be fine but it's hard when you're so used to that control over like a regimen diet and exercise and it's it's really hard like that's one thing that I have struggled with I can honestly say from day one even before I was gaining weight like I knew it was gonna be a struggle for me to accept that and like know that my body's gonna change and you know things are gonna be different and it's it's, I don't know how to really describe it other than it's like all these new emotions and feelings and it's like when you're in so much like pain from the aches in your joints, it just kind of like starts to get to you. And yesterday, I had a day where I was kind of down. Like I just felt like, I, I guess the best word I could say is like defeated. I felt so defeated and I was like, okay, I have to shake this. I have to shake this feeling because I cannot let this ruin my day. Like it was first thing in the morning. I got done working out and then I had had like probably, I don't know, 36 ounces of water at this point. So stupid me decides like I'm going to weigh myself today. So I hop on the scale and I was just like, ugh. Like I just feel like when you see those numbers creeping up like kind of quickly and I know it's normal, but like I say, psychologically, it's so hard to like see that because normally if you're not pregnant you might gain like a pound you know every few weeks or something or you know when you step on the scale I never used to be a scale person I would never ever step on the scale I just went off like how my clothes fit me and then after I did my competition I had like a really unhealthy relationship with the scale and I've tried to like 
scale it back and not step on the scale as much anymore because it can be so like just screws with your mind completely. So yesterday I stepped on the scale after it already worked out and after I already drank a ton of water and I was just like, oh, like this sucks. And I'm right now I'm up six pounds and it was just one of those things like I knew I had jumped from my last appointment and it was like a three pound jump and I'm like, is that normal? And so for me it was like I kept dwelling on it like all morning. I was getting ready and I'm like, this sucks. Like I'm working out two times a day. I'm, you know, walking, I'm doing all this stuff. And like, why is this weight just creeping up so fast? And then it was like, okay, I'm pregnant. Like this is normal. I have to just, you know, just go with the flow and relax. And, but for like probably 30 minutes, I kept dwelling on it. And I was so like kind of depressed, like down about it. And then it was like, no, I need to get out of the house. I need to shake this. And it was like, I'm still wearing my same clothes. I'm not in maternity clothing yet. I'm still wearing the same clothes. Some dresses are getting like tighter on me. Um, a lot of my tops, like in the breast area is where I'm noticing it. That seems to be where I'm gaining like weight is in the breast area, but not really so much um, like weight as far as like my clothes are still the same. So I just really had to let that go because it can really just screw with your mind. So I was like, okay, I'm done. Like. I dwelled on it for just a little bit and now I'm gonna have a great day because I didn't want to like walk around all mopey and like ho-hum, poor me. So I just kind of changed my attitude and just really didn't think about it because it's like I'm growing a baby inside of me. I think it's normal. So that's really all I've been dealing with this week. Um, I've been kind of tired lately. Um, in the evening when I finally like sit down, I'll kind of like start to yawn and notice. Noticing that I'm like tired and just kind of like lazy, just really lethargic and not wanting to do much of anything. Like after I cook dinner, I just kind of sit down on the couch and I'm like, gosh, this is the first time I've sat down all day and now I just don't want to move. So I just kind of have to motivate myself at night to get up and just keep moving. So until I get ready for bed. Other than that, I'll just sit on the couch and be lazy and I don't want to do that. So I have a lot that I still need to get done in the evening. So I try to just like keep up that pace of like going, going and then like once I'm in bed, like after I shower and then I like put my feet up and relax in bed, then I'm like, oh, like this is the best part of the night. So that's really all that I've had this week. My um, tooth sensitivity, that's finally starting to go away, but I started using that sensitive toothpaste again as disgusting as it tastes. I hate the taste of that stuff. I started using it and I've noticed a difference. So I'm now using that and I'll just like suck it up and just use that toothpaste, but I hate the flavor. It's so disgusting. But I stopped at um, Target yesterday. I probably should have picked up a different like flavor or brand just to, so I don't have to use this one, but whatever, it is what it is. As far as cravings, I haven't had very many cravings lately other than just one in particular, and it's a veggie sandwich. I've had this craving for like, I think it's going on two weeks now. So every day for lunch, I make like a piled high veggie sandwich. Like I'll put spinach and I'll put tomatoes and cucumber and avocado and just layer it with vegetables. That's all I want. It just like a cold, refreshing veggie sandwich. And it just sounds good every single day at lunchtime. So that's usually what I've been making for lunch or I'll just like slice up cucumbers and tomatoes and just as long as I get those raw cold vegetables, I'm fine. Like my body craves that and then when I'm done, I want watermelon. <laughs> it's so weird. I get done eating the vegetables and then instantly my body's like cherries or watermelon and it's those two and that's the same thing. It's been that way this whole entire week. So I'm kind of like a creature of habit the last two weeks with my lunches. Now I'm going to move on to some of the stuff that I purchased recently. I found these two items at TJ Maxx and I was there yesterday and I found this cute, this is by MedPie and it says countdown till baby weeks to go and it's a little mini chalkboard right here. And um, the price at TJ Maxx was only $3.99. So I picked this little block up. It's just like a, just like a little wooden block with like the burlap and then a little chalkboard. I thought that was cute. So I picked that up and then I also found, I found two of these and this is my fault because I walked around the baby section and I saw these two and then I was like, I needed to go look at something else. So I just like put them underneath this other like baby book they had. So I kind of like hit it and I was like, okay, I'll come back when I'm done and then I'll pick them up just because I was lazy and I didn't want to like carry them around the store because I didn't have a cart, which I could kick myself now because when I went back, only one was left. Somebody picked up the other one because there were two. So there are these little um, Grandma's Brag books 
And this one is just the little whale and it says Grandma's Brag Book. It's by Carter's. They were only $1.99. The other one said um, Grandma Digs Me and it had like a little tractor like on the front with like a little, I think it was a teddy bear or something like digging the tractor. But they're just these little mini photo albums. Um, Grandma Sweet Boy and then just the empty pages. So I thought these would be cute to give to our parents um, after the baby's born. So I'm going to keep stalking TJ Maxx to try to find a second one because I'm so dumb and I didn't pick up both of them. They were so cheap, a buck ninety nine, and now I have to find one more. So I checked another TJ Maxx yesterday in Marshalls and I couldn't find it. So I'm going to keep looking until I find the second one. And then I found these cute little jeans at Old Navy. They're so cute. I love these little jeans. They have just a little elastic like waistband. These were, um, they're zero to three months. They were on clearance for $5.99. They were originally $16.94. But they just have like these cute little patch, like patchworks here and then here's the little bottom. And I thought they were so cute. So I picked up those and then I found these two at Costco when we were there over the weekend. This one says, our little mate. And then this side just has the little t-shirt and then these little shorts, little cotton shorts. And this is a six month. And then these were fairly inexpensive. I think they were like $9.99, maybe $8.99. I don't remember. They were inexpensive at Costco. And then I got this one. It says Beach Cruisin'. And then the back has a little woody, or actually it's a it's a bug, a little VW with a little surfboard. And then this one says Local Cutie. So they're little three-piece sets that they have at Costco. And I got these both in six months. I think they had some that had pants, some that had shorts, and I think some had like long sleeve button-up uh, onesie pajamas. But I just found these two that I thought were cute, so I got those. And then yesterday while I was at Walmart, I've never checked the baby section at Walmart. So while I was walking around, I was like, oh, I'm going to go check. And I found these two onesies, and I had to buy them, and they were so cheap at Walmart. I don't even know who they're by. Walmart brand, I guess. They were $3.25, and it says, you need tickets to this muscle show. <laughs> I thought they were so cute, especially since the baby wanted to flex on Friday. I thought they were perfect for him. So I got him this one, and then this one said, I would flex, but I want, but I don't want to rip another T. And they both have um, red. That's the only color they came in these. So this one is a six to nine month, and this one zero to three month. And they were only $3.25. So they had some really cute ones. They have cute ones for little girls, too, like the sayings for little girls. They were so cute. So got those at Walmart and I had never checked their baby stuff, but I was just like browsing onesies and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to buy these. So that is everything for my 19 week update. And uh, my little belly is starting to pooch out a little bit, but still kind of the same. I keep comparing like my photos to look. I'll um, insert the one at the end of this video, but it is starting to kind of like pooch out a little bit more. So it's getting a little bit more noticeable, but it hasn't like fully... It's not a fully round belly just yet or like noticeable. If I still wear like my shift dresses and stuff, you can't even tell that I'm pregnant. So it'll be nice when I'm out of that in-between stage because this past weekend I wore a dress and I told my husband, I'm like, should I wear this dress or do I look fat in it? And he's like, you don't look fat, you're pregnant. I'm like, I know, but I don't want like other girls to look at me and be like, why is she wearing that dress? Her stomach is so poochy. Like I just felt like it looked puffy, but because normally it's like flat against me, like my dress, so I didn't really know, but it was such a hot day. It was in the hundreds, and I just wanted like a short, loose, like summer dress, and it was perfect, but I was uncomfortable because it was more like a fitted in the belly, and I'm used to it being flat against my stomach, and there was like just a little pooch, so I am getting that little pooch, but it'll be nice when you get out of that stage of like, is she pregnant? Is she not pregnant? And it's like a little bit more noticeable, so... That's everything for this week. I hope you guys enjoy your week and have a great 4th of July, and I will see you guys soon. Bye!